All right, Shalom, Akim Shalom. It's the brother Yahweh Shapat coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in these scriptures. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. To you, brothers, it's on the highways and the byways, pushing his word out in truth and sincerity, risking your lives and your freedom to do so now, so more than ever. To you, I say Shalom. This is going to be a lesson, man, basically on, uh, you know, keeping focus, you know, because we in a spiritual war. We in a war in which, hey, man, Satan's going to use any edge he can get over you to sift you out of the truth. That's his job, literally, you know. So we just got to we got to be more on point, man. Satan's coming harder. You got physical Satan coming harder and you got the spiritual demon Satan is going to come harder as well. Because we in the last, you know, we in the last uh, few chapters, man. And I'm saying that through the spirit. You can tell, you know, the Lord ain't playing. A lot of men are losing the spirit. A lot of men are falling out of the truth. A lot of men are being sifted out. You know, you have um, a lot of death, a lot of destruction going on. The Lord is, he's truly visiting this earth right now man and i really feel like we ain't gonna have another year here you know lord willing we don't i'm in that hasten the day spirit i hope we don't you know what i'm saying but uh i'm gonna get a couple of scriptures you know yeah man we we just it's always gonna be distractions you know what i'm saying and most of the time your flesh you know, yo, you got to fight your flesh to not give in to these distractions, whether it be your woman, your children, different um, vices you might have. It could be playing your game. It could be um, women. It could be, you know, alcohol, whatever it may be, man. Brothers got different things that they into. You can't let none of those things that please the flesh, you know, override you to the point where you quenching the spirit. You know, you're not in the spirit as much as you, you know, into pleasing your flesh, you know? Let's see. So I'm going to get a scripture. And I'm pretty much, I'm going through the spirit. You know, I got some scriptures in my head, you know, that I, I want to bring out. But the spirit's going to have me bring them out, you know, accordingly. So let's see. Galatians 5 and 17, and it says, For the spirit lusteth against the, the flesh lusteth against the spirit, Salakia, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are con contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. So we can't be perfect even though we're we going to strive to be perfect. We can't be perfect because... This flesh just simply won't allow that. The Lord didn't put us in this flesh to us for us to be perfect. He put us in this flesh, you know, hey man, to 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 basically to put up a fight. You know what I'm saying? You know, the Lord didn't make it make it easy for us, you know. Let's see, uh, yeah, but basically, man, your flesh is always gonna wanna do what it wants to do. And your spirit is going to want to do the things that please Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know? So you got to learn how to um, hey, stay in the spirit so that you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Meaning if you always in the spirit, you doing your studies, you reading, you're not going to get caught up in some, in, in some um, basically you're not going to get entangled with the affairs of this life. You know, you're not going to be all caught up in no woman, you're not gonna be all caught up in your children. You're gonna take care of your business. You're gonna take care of what you need to do, but you're not gonna be caught up in any of this, man. At the end of the day, you're gonna be single minded, but able to multitask and, you know, hey, do what you gotta do as far as uh, the things you gotta do in this world, go to work, whatever. Sometimes you gotta please, you gotta do things to please your flesh. You can't just be in the spirit all the time. But the more we enter into these times, the more you want to be in the spirit, you know, we in different times, man. That's why Elder Pastor Hart put the video out, you know, basically telling brothers, hey, do seven videos a week. If you can do more than that and the spirit's on you to do more, do more. Because at first it was okay, 
Make sure you do three videos a week. It went from three videos a week to seven. That there alone gives us less time. That means the Heavenly Father wants us to spend less time pleasing the flesh and more time pleasing the spirit, man. In, in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, so let's see. We don't have much time, man. And we definitely don't got no whole bunch of time to be goofing off or, you know, playtime is over, man, basically. Let's see. Bear with me, Aki and Baba Kusha. I don't know if I'm spelling that right, but Google should get it for me. Okay, so this is Ephesians 5 and 16 through 18. It says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. We in evil times right now, man. You know, exciting at the same time as it is, you know, your flesh. You're going to get a little, a little tense. You might run into some situations where you face near death. But you're not supposed to, you know, hey, be afraid of death. Hey, death is the sentence against all flesh, man. Whether you rich or poor, young or old, it don't matter. You know, we all got to fade time. You know what I'm saying? But some of us aren't going to taste the death. Some of us will have to uh, die for this truth. But the point being, man, we in Jacob's trouble. You know, we at the, you know, we in the beginning stages of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, or rather, Jacob's trouble's at the door. I'll say that because it's really going to kick off when the chip get implemented and, you know, they they make uh, certain moves. But, yeah, that prophecy is at the door, man. So we got to get more in the mind state of, you know, hey, being focused, being single-minded. You know what I'm saying? Lightening the load as far as in this, what, what, what we care about in the, the cares of this world. You know what I'm saying? We got to lighten the load, man. You know? If you got certain people that's holding you back or whatever, it could be family members, it could be a woman, it, whatever, cut them the fuck off. This is the time to start doing those things. You know, dealing with brothers more, man. And, um, you know, hey, hey, taking care of your, your business for the Lord. It says, wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the Lord, what the will of the Lord is, and be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the spirit. And that wine is that, that spirit of Babylon, man, you know, you know, being, hey, everything out here in the world is defiling, it's defiled. You know what I'm saying? We have to go into the world to do certain things. We got to go into the world to you know, hey, get money, whatever, whatever we need for our, for our goods, whatever. But we got to realize that the world, it ain't nothing out there to get into, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't be all into these different activities that, 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 that Babylon offers, you know? You don't want to be. You want to be in, in into the spirit, man. You want to be filled with the spirit. Because when you get into that 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 spirit of feeding your flesh, you just gonna be drinking in excess, fucking with these women in excess. You do everything in excess if you not filled with the spirit. You know, you if, hey, if you not in the spirit, man, the spirit ain't guiding you, which means that you gonna be out here just basically like, hey, going full throttle with everything. You are not gonna have no um. No discretion about nothing, man. You know? You know, no temperance. But yeah, you know, like uh, verse 16 says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. We got to give more of our time to this truth now more than ever. You know what I'm saying? And we, hey, we got to, we got to, hey, occupy till the Lord come, which is not going to be easy, you know, but... We can do it, man. We can do anything through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. You're going to have your slip-ups. You know, you just can't let Satan use those against you, man. And you can't, hey, condemn your own conscience, you know? I'm going to get another scripture. Because that's just, you know, 
Satan to try to use different things that are time consuming to keep you from the truth. And you will look up and, 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 and oh man, you ain't done all your videos. Uh, you know, you missing, you done missed camp fucking around, you know, playing with your woman or just whatever, man, whatever, man, we gotta be aware and we gotta be, um, you know, we gotta be way more careful with our time. I can, you know what I'm saying? Speaking for myself, first and foremost, Let's see. You know, so hey, we can it's cool to drink, it's cool to deal with your woman and, and have family time, whatever. But you gotta understand we not family men. We ain't we weren't sent here to be fucking Bill Cosby. You know? And we weren't sent here to um party and bullshit all the time. It's alright to do that, but you gotta know that it's a balance. And you like I say. You want to be more in the spirit than you are in that in that uh chilled out, you know, I'm I'm chilling ass state of mind. You want to be more in the spirit, you want to be more around brothers and if you're going to do anything, do it with brothers, man. If you want to have a drink, man, do it with brothers. You know, if you want to hey, of course, you ain't going to be doing everything with the brothers, but you know, like I say, y'all want you want to go out and do something, hey man, be around brothers, man. Scriptures talk about being be that being continually with a godly man. Roughly paraphrasing that scriptures in the apocrypha, you know, be around brothers. You know what I'm saying? Because it, the times we coming in, you gonna be by your damn self. Brothers ain't gonna be around you. You might, you know. We're good. My point being, we all got our own walk, man. And we gotta work out our own salvation. So the brothers ain't gonna always be there, you know. But you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, hey, take advantage of having a brotherhood while you can, man. You know, this is First Peter five and eight. It says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So, we gotta be sober and be vigilant, man, because Satan is always looking. He's an opportunist. He's always looking for an end, like okay. Damn, he been spending a lot of time with this chick, man. Maybe I can get her, I can get on her to, you know, cause him some trouble. Or, you know, Satan might look at it like, damn, he been working a lot of overtime. He trying to get this new car. He trying to get this new apartment. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I, I can use that to keep his mind distracted from, from what he really need to do. And I'm just using those as examples, man. Satan's an opportunist. If he see you slipping, he going to take that chance to try and sift you out of the truth. And there is a lot of sifting being going on, not just amongst the other nations. Is the sifting going to be going on, but amongst the nation of Israel, man, amongst the men who are in this truth. So we, none of us are perfect. And hey, the Lord could take the spirit from any of us at any time he feel like it. So we got to be praying that the Lord take not his Holy Spirit from us, man, and we can't. You know, hey, we got to show the Lord that we on fire about this truth. And it takes time and sacrifice of time to do that, man. A lot of brothers in this truth, you young, we young. You know what I'm saying? We could be out fucking around. And a lot of times your flesh tries to pull you to do these things. But you got to, hey, fight the flesh and, 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 and be like, you know what, man? I could go chill with old girl, but you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to sit down and get into the scriptures. You know, it's more needful for me to be teaching, you know what I'm saying, using my gift that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh gave me to edify, to build up the house of David, man, because that's what we're here for. We're here for each other. We're not here for none of this other bullshit. We use and abuse this place. I mean, Salaki, we use this place as not abusing this place. Like, hey, roughly paraphrasing that scripture, use this word as not abusing this world, you know. You go out there, man, you get what you need, and then, hey, you go back into your zone, you know? You know, in this truth, man, I heard that Apostle Gabar say this. You do require a lot of quiet time, a lot of time to yourself. Being, soldier, being a soldier goes back to that word solitaire, which means being to yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? It's a certain level of peace that comes with that as well. 
The only time you feel like, damn, I'm bored is because your flesh be, oh, man, we, I want to do this. I want to, you know, the flesh is going to always want to chill, you know. Hey, man, the flesh going to always want to uh, do what pleases it. But we got to be wanting to do what pleases the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You know, and like I say, man, we, we just got to be watchful of what we're doing, mindful of our time. You know what I'm saying? Because Satan is, like I say, he's an opportunist, man. He's going to use whatever avenue he can to try to sift you. You know, so we got to remember that, man. And the Lord got set and say, uh, some slack, slack you. Got Satan set up to sift different guys out of the truth. I don't want to be a part of them, that them guys that get sifted out. I know other brothers don't either. That's why we got to stay diligent. We got to make our calling and election sure, you know. Hey, man, we will have plenty of time. And like I say, I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. I have my slip ups, my mistakes and stuff, man. But, you know. Just being spiritual about it. We'll have plenty of time to get a, 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 as much box as we want to in the kingdom. We'll have plenty of time to kick back and chill and, 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 and you know, hey, Lord willing, we have the elect. We're going to be a, a, a ruling class. We're going to be in, a, in the ruling class, man. We're going to be governing the body of the nation of Israel, man. You know, we're going to have everything. In our reach, we're going to have everything that we could ever imagine that we, you know, want, man, that we desire, everything we desire. Right now, what the Lord is looking for is, hey, men who are willing to say, hey, you know, fuck these women right now, man. You know, fuck trying to have my consolation on this side. I don't mind getting by with the bare minimum and just being able to do the work or whatever. The Lord want men who going to go out there and get their hands dirty. For him and Yahweh Shah, and and you know, hey, go to the bat for them till the end, cause Esau is getting ready to come for us. You know what I'm saying? They got all these different terms. They got this task force that's supposed to handle like conspiracy theorists or, you know, basically people who are against the new world order. If you want to be in, 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 you know, more specific about it, man. Project Megiddo's been on the books for a while, and they know who the so-called black Hebrew Israelites are, which we're not black Hebrew Israelites, we're Hebrew Israelites. But the point being, Esau's going to come for us soon, man. We got to be ready to lose everything, our job, our homes, family, friends, whoever the, 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 that's, that's you know going to turn against us, man, because it's all going to come down on us, you know what I'm saying, as a huge test. The Lord is going to test our faith. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be one of the biggest tests of our faith. You know, that and uh, refusing that chip and refusing that Maxine. You know what I'm saying? Pretty soon the Lord is going to see, we're going to see who the Lord's chosen is because you brother, you guys out there, you're not going to be able to hide behind just being in a camp or just going out there and teaching, whatever it may be, man, behind the videos. The Lord going to really put you to the test. He might have Esau jack you up a little bit before he um, get you the guillotine. You might sit in a fucking cell. You know, hey, man, whatever the case may be, man, the Lord going to try some of us, all of us. Not some of us. All of us are going to be tried. The Lord want to see who going to get in there and fucking flip. Because if you a man of Yahweh by some Yahweh Shai, you going to get in there and Yahweh Shai didn't say nothing when the pilot was questioning him. You know, Yahweh Shai stuck to the script. He played out his role, man. And in the end, you know what I'm saying? The Heavenly Father, hey, blessed him. You know, set him on his right hand side. And, and Yahweh Shai said that he gonna bless us even as his father blessed him if we do what we gotta do. But man, I gotta, hey, you, this has to be spoken on, man. You know, we are going to be tried and tested. This ain't just going to be no cakewalk. Pretty soon, hey, your favorite restaurant, you're not going to be able to go to that. You're not going to be as comfortable. You might not eat every day. You might not know where your next meal going to come from, but the Lord got to see that you ain't going to turn into a fucking um, 
a featherweight, man, while going through these different trials and tribulations entering into the kingdom of heaven because we're going to go through them. The scriptures say through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven. And that's why I'm giving this exhortation. It's, it's, it's not going to be an easy walk for us um, um, into the kingdom, Akin, but we'll make it. You know, the scriptures say that the righteous shall scarcely be saved. So that means we're going to have some trouble, man. We're going to run into it. We're going to see some things that's going to blow our motherfucking minds. So like it, blow our minds, man. You know, excuse my French. And we got to prepare for that. You know what I'm saying? But this is Luke 22 and 31. And it says, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, where he was referring to Peter. Behold, Satan hath desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, and that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. You know? So, hey, man, Yahweh prays for us, man. We got to pray for each other. We got Yahweh's return, man, and give Yahweh no rest concerning it. We ready to get the hell out of here, you know? And I know I can speak for all the brothers, man, but I just brought this out, man. You know, spirit got on me like, you know, Sometimes brothers get distracted by different things. Sometimes you fall short, but this ain't the time to be having many slip ups. Hey, man, if you got something that you got going on, correct it. But stay in the spirit, man. It's not hard, man. Hey, you constantly, constantly seeing shit. Shit's constantly popping off. That means we got much material to use to put our videos to edify brothers, edify the body. Now's the time to be doing that pretty soon. They might, we might fucking, the 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 the, uh, the power might get cut off in the U.S. first here soon, because it already happened. I for, I watched El Apostle Hart's video, I forgot where at, but uh, I believe it, it might have been Pakistan or, or somewhere like that. All I know, it was millions of people without power. I'm gonna have, I might, I might go into that, you know what I'm saying, later or something, Lord willing, but. You know, brothers can go to El Apostle Hart's channel and watch the, the video if you haven't already seen it. Hey, man, that power grid is going to get cut off here. They've already been planning this. Uh, Pastor Hart said that people were talking about the power being cut off in New York 30 years ago. We already know that they, you know, hey, that's how they work, man. So when the power gets cut off, that's when the, that's another way of all hell breaking loose. We got to be prepared for these type of things, man. You know, we're not going to be able to teach forever you know they're gonna cut off youtube they're gonna cut us off eventually the famine of the word is gonna come amos 8 and 11 you know but i'm hey i'm with that i'm gonna just close out you know brothers stay focused man stay prayed up stay in the spirit you know what i'm saying endure you know lord willing we get up out of here er uh, soon man earlier than we think you know what i'm saying I'm going to close out. Hopefully that was edifying, you know. And until the next one, I'll say Shalom.